the Florence Nightingale Chase is next. Uh, this is a four mile three furlongs grade three, so it's a long, long way to go. This one, and the top one is a fleet lipped for James Shea, Debanche Man for Alex Cherry, Dictate Ross for Martin Leadham, Enemy Flight for Darren Thompson, Kentish for Craig Beckwith, Victory Heights for David Hooley, Yahoo for John Morgan, Bridgewell Leader for John Morgan as well, In der Nacht for Leon van Rensburg, that was a winner last week, largely for the National for Joshua Sutherland, won first week and was second last week, Linker Solzen for Graham Clutterbuck, Sensitive Jewels for Craig Allen was a winner last week as well, Superior Ninja Derek Hinton needs to stay standing up today, and Hume Cassie for David Robertson is the bottom one, so this is an interesting race this one, and they're called in and away they go, I say interesting because it's a level weight group three and if you win this, as I found out to my pains a few seasons ago, if you win this pretty comfortably your horse gets handicapped so you're out of all the long distance races and they get to the first because you get too big a rating but maybe, just maybe this year with the handicap ratings being done by the computer rather than by an individual then um, it might not necessarily mean that you're ruled out of all of the long distance chases but they get to the second which is a ditch so let's hope not because it really ruined that season for my horse it won the first two weeks and then I couldn't get it in a race again till Cheltenham but it's Kentish in the lead then from Yahoo in second and the enemy flight third a big gap then to Superior Ninja and Dictate Ross are running together and then just behind them Bridgewell Leader the second of John Morgan's runners and a line of about six of them after that, the back two then are in der Nacht and Victory Heights. So racing down towards the third then, with Kentish and Yahoo. With enemy flight, almost three in a line as they take that third. Also for it, two for Craig Beckwith and one for John Morgan up top. And it's the John Morgan horse Yahoo, who's just about in the lead. Oh, he was a good chase, chaser, wasn't he? Back in the day, he was used to run in the Gold Cup. From yellow and black colours. Inside Kentish. And enemy flight on the outside as we get a shot of them from the stand. I wouldn't be overly happy if I paid good money to come and watch this night to stand that far away from the action. It's uh, quite a long way. The stand from the track. And they come to this next one, the fourth. Oh, they're all safely over. And Kentish on the inside of Yahoo. Then comes enemy flight, gap of about five lengths then to Dictate Ross, the grey and the red rum silks. Then Bridgewell Leader and Superior Ninja who's unshipped the pilot the first two weeks of the season. So Derek Hinton will be hoping that the uh, jockey's got a bit of super glue on his irons today. And they'll get over that with one or two scrappy jumps including Linker Solzen who's now the back marker. It's Kentish in front, Enemy Flight second, and Yahoo third. Gap of four or five to Dictate Ross, and then Bridgewell Leader, and then Superior Ninja. Then Diban Shimano, I think he's on his first run of the season back from last year, as they get over the next. So qualify as one of your one of your four mile runs to get into the national course. That you're going to run twice over four miles to get into that race. Most of these would have done that already as they get to the seventh, which they're all safely over. Although Linker Solzen is toiling just a little bit at the back. The front three sit in a sensible sort of pace. And they are clear of the main body of the field. And the main body of the field, and they're headed by another John Morgan runner, Bridgewell leader. And it's Kentish who continues to lead the race proper by length to Yahoo and enemy flight. Gap of four to Bridgewell leader. So Craig Beckwith and John Morgan both got two in the first four at the moment. And once again, Linker Solzen literally ran through that fence at the back. So carries on jumping like that. I can't see that one staying in the race too much longer. But Kentish just up in the ante a little bit now, maybe going a little bit quicker. It's opened up by about two now as they get over that one. Good jump again. Good fast jump again there. The slow jump was by Broadwell, Bridgewell leader. And the pack has just dropped back to about sixth. And Linker Solzen has indeed gone at the back now and had a shot. So that was probably one of the most predictable things that was going to happen in this race that Linker Solzen wasn't going to last much longer. But Kentish continues to lead from stable mate enemy flight on the inside of Yahoo. Gap of a good six lengths then to the grey dictate Ross and Superior Ninja, who's managed to stay on his feet for almost half of the fences so far in this race. I'll be hoping to continue in that vein. Bridgewell leader on the outside 
of Yawn Cassie, who's next. And then a fleet lipped and sensitive Jules, but the Bancher Man is next. A mistake at the top up there by um, Yahoo. I was just seeing that one lose a bit of ground. It was just sitting quietly in the middle of the pack, largely for the National. Not had much of a mention so far. It's just been covered up and hunting round for the first couple of circuits by the looks of things. As they come to this big ditch. Oh, and there's a crashing fall there, Bridgewell leader. And had made a few mistakes. And paid the price that time. So, once again, John Morgan having a little bit of a problem with some of his horses. I think I said the other way, they either win or fall over. And there's uh, one or two. Take the odd liberty, which is not like him. And he's been like that really for the last couple of seasons now. And it's a Craig Beck with one, two at the moment. Kentish and Enemy Flood. From Yahoo in third. Dictate Ross continues to lead the chasing pack. And they are pretty tightly grouped, that pack, as they get over number 13. And largely for the National, didn't jump that well at all. And it'll be largely not going for the National if it tries jumping like that around Aintree. But it's Kentish and Enemy Flood. Pretty much their own way up top. With Yahoo second. That's the big screen we go. Past the winning post. Just one more circuit of this pretty big punches down track. And Kentish is in front. Enemy flight is second. Yahoo is third. Then Yoon Cassie is four and Dictate Ross is five and a flick lip is six and Sensitive Jules is seven. And Superior Ninja is eight and Inda Nacht is nine as they take number 14. And one or two sketchy jumps again there. Yoon Cassie in particular was a little bit untidy and Debancher Man has now been relegated to the back marker position as we see them racing away from us. There's well, the Bridgewell leader or Linker Souls and one of the two loose horses. But this leading three have been together all the way so far as they get over number 15 and a good jump there by Yahoo has seen that one move into second Just to split up that Craig Beck with Monopoly on the lead and Kentish though is still in front with Yahoo second enemy flight third gap of four or five lengths then to sensitive Jules is getting closer dictate Ross the ground on the inside as they get over number 16 and mistake there was by Victory Heights seeing that one shuffle towards the back as well largely for the Nationals trying to make some ground on the outside and come down to another ditch then and let's see them all over this one uh, they all jump that one nicely with Kentish, Yahoo and Enemy Flight continuing to be the leading trio good four or five lengths clear of Dictate Ross and Sensitive Jules and then Yoon Cassie Superior Ninja jumping well today then a fleet lipped and after that one in the Nacht and largely for the National with Victory Heights poking in between those two and De Bancher Man just the tail end Charlie at the moment but still going well enough within himself as Yahoo comes to challenge for the lead. Yahoo and Kentish are going to come into this next one together. Over it they go. Kentish jumped it just the better and comes out of it in the lead. Another mistake by Victory Heights at the back of the pack. But Kentish is in front by a length. To Yahoo second and Enemy Flight third. Dictate Ross and Sensitive Jules are getting a little bit closer to that leading trio. Yoon Cassie's also trying to run on as well. As they come down towards the next end. There's less than a mile to go. This is the 19th fence. And over that one they go. Really good jump there by Dictate Ross. But it's still Kentish who's in the lead. Kentish is in front from Yahoo second. Enemy Flight third. Now Dictate Ross and Sensitive if Jules are beginning to join that lead in three and make it a lead in five as they get out. The leader went right through the top of that one, and now we've just got one big pack. Now it's Kentish still battling for the lead despite that mistake on the inside. Yahoo is in second, tucked in behind them. Enemy flight dictate Ross the Gray still going well. Look at this superior ninja running through the pack as well. Yoon Cassie is there, largely for the Nationals trying to get into it. Then sensitive Jules Victory Heights, who's made some mistakes, he's trying to get into it. Indanak looks full and running. A fleet lift and Debanche Manor at the back is a wide open race as they come down towards the final three fences then in this Florence Nightingale chase and they come to the third last and over it they go and Kentish lands in front Kentish is the leader from in second place Yahoo then Yoon Cassie going really well sensitive Jules is trying to get into it here comes largely for the National and also Victory Heights is there the whole complexion of the race is beginning to change it's Yoon Cassie that hits the front Yoon Cassie at the second last final ditch gets over it well largely for the National jumps it better and he's now beginning to challenge on the outside it's Yoon Cassie and largely for the National as they power up towards the final fence and the final three furlongs it's Yoon Cassie in the lead 
from large piece of the national in second. In the Nacht is third. Kentish is trying to stick on, but it looks like he's between the leading two at the moment, unless In the Nacht can close them down. It's largely for the national in front. Largely for the national, then he's about a neck clear coming down towards the final fence. Largely for the national in the lead. Ian Cassie second. In the Nacht trying to run on in third. Dictate Ross is running on again from the back, but it's largely for the national at the final fence. Jumps it well, gets away from it well. Ian Cassie jumps it well as well, but it's got to be largely for the national. I think Ian Cassie's trying to battle back, but largely. Largely for the National is a length up and racing into the final half for a long. Largely for the National doesn't look like it's going to be caught. And up towards the line, it's another one for Joshua Sutton. There's largely for the National living up to its name and taking this Florence Nightingale chase pretty comfortably in the end. Largely for the National running in. Cassie second in the Nap third. Then Dictate Ross run a big race fourth. Enemy Flight was fifth. Kentish was sixth. And then Yahoo after that one. Debancher Man was the last one at the finish. And Superior Ninja got round today. So another thrilling race and largely for the National obviously being aimed for the National with a name like that. He's doing everything right so far and won that one despite one or two mistakes but it was a pretty good run. Sat quietly for most of the first two miles at least and took it well. Let's get a full list of the connections although we probably know them by now. It's largely for the National for Joshua Sutherland, the winner. Hume Cassie for David Robertson was second. In der Nacht for Leon van Rensburg was third. Dictate Ross for Martin Lillian was fourth. And Enemy Flight for Darren Thompson was fifth. So all that rubbish I was talking about, Craig Beckwith having a one-two most of the way round. He didn't because Enemy Flight was Darren Thompson. So shoot the commentator.